Welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Kim Opra, and of course, this is your one stop show to everything nice and everything trending. Trying to bring you everyone and everything that is trending. My name is Pascal. We're going to show break right now. When we return, the, the show, show continues. continues. Just to go around. Welcome back. Let's get the show started. You know, we always bring you the best of the, the best, best of the best. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And today we have hmm, <laughs> a very interesting guest, and he goes by the name Drum Rolls. <laughs> and he goes by the name. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Drum Rolls. <laughs> Corre de Bello. Corre de Bello in the view. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my so God. It's, so, it's, Yo, it's such man. an honor so to have you here. Thank it's you such an honor to have you here. You guys are doing a great job. Um, thank you so thank much. You. See you guys once in a while. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Wow. I think you said that thing loudly. You see, we said, hmm? <laughs> as a question. I've been watching that once. <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys, yeah, from time to time. You're doing well, you're doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How has life been? Life has been fair. Fair? Yeah. Wow. That's such an interesting thing to say. What do you mean that life has been fair? Expansiate. Um, I think sometimes fair is better than good. Um, because good is relative. <laughs> because, you know, when people say, oh, I was like, life has been good, but it actually really hasn't been good to you per mm. se. Mm. But life has been fair in the sense that, you know, your efforts are matching your rewards. You know, you haven't cheated anybody. Life hasn't cheated you. You're just in a state of equanimity, balance, mm. and, you know, just Favored, yeah. Just favored. yeah. Balance, okay. I think it balance is, is the, another I, word I, I for fair. I sense a uh, uh, humility in the undertone. Yes, I think you have to be humble to to yeah. to get to that state where you like. <sighs> so, I don't. As in, we started. Yeah, it does. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking. You know, yeah. um, most times we go to God to ask for stuff, mm -hmm. and sometimes the stuff we ask for are not really fair. Right, you know, when mm -hmm. Jesus said, Give us our daily bread, mm -hmm. you know, that's part of what He means. Sometimes we have to go to God to just thank God for what He has done, yeah, you know, it's like for what who God is, mm -hmm. and that is fair because yeah. you're, you're looking in retrospect that like, oh, actually I acknowledge the fact that you know you've been good to me, and so life has been good to me, life has been fair to me, so it's relative. How life, life been after. <laughs> Eh? How's life been for you? Life has been fair. Life has been fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> life good. has been fair. I'm grateful. And I'm good. thankful, you know. So let's talk about life after uh, Mavens, right? Yeah. And, you know, you seem like you took uh, quite a break from mm. your music career. Can mm. you tell us about what you were doing in the, in the meantime? Like, what else was going on with you? And, and um, what led to this sudden, the comeback that we're seeing today? I think it's just seasons. Okay. I was at a season in my life where I needed to metamorph mm. from Besides. caterpillar to butterfly mm. to explore my inner world, mm -hmm. inner world, um, to do introspections, understand myself, understand meaning more, reconnect to my why. Because mm. I was at a stage where I started to feel like a product. I started yeah. to feel like something that's just being sold, you know? Yeah. Something that's just there to make money. money. And mm -hmm. You know, you lose sight of what matters mm -hmm. when you chase after the next song, after the next hit, yeah. after the next whatever it is that can Breaks get you in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of artists are addicted to that cycle. Yeah. And that's why they'll do anything to just stay relevant, stay in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I know, for instance, that music is not my destination. Music is not my end point. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a means of communication, of yeah. communicating who I am and why I am. Mm -hmm. So I needed to reconnect with why I am mm -hmm. and why music is important as a tool, as a medium mm -hmm. for communicating who and what mm -hmm. I'm about. Yeah. So it's in all of that, you know, took me away from, I think the attention of 
majority because yes. I've always still I've still yes, make music. Always been, yes, I've always exactly. been present to the people I'm yes. present with. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not on a mass scale as I used to be, but it really is self education. Yeah. Clarifying my identity, self. my inner self mm -hmm. and knowing what I'm here to do. Okay. It's not just the product, you That's know, it's just yeah. something that means something. That's quite interesting. Obviously it was more of like a wellness journey for you. Yes. And just like feeling you know, getting back to your why and feeling mm. your essence and all of that. So what would you now say was the defining moment to say, Okay, I'm now ready to go back into the markets like mm. how when did you feel well? <laughs> That's a beautiful question. Yes. So wellness is a journey. Yes, it is. It's not it's not a destination. Mm -hmm. You know, healing is, is continuous. Mm -hmm. Um the state of just recognizing it's like you don't wake up and say, Oh my I brushed my teeth yesterday and like, you know, I don't need to bath today, you know. Yeah. Or like, you know, I don't need to eat today because I ate yesterday. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you have to constantly maintain. Yes. Take care of. It's a, it's a continuous journey. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you brush your mouth today. So, you know, if I know that if I go and speak to people today, my mouth will not be smelling. Yes. So, so I can have conversations. So that's where you are now. Yeah. Okay. okay. You know, I want to make, okay, I know, I know enough mm -hmm. to share. Okay. You know, I'm sharing from a place of, of clarity. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, my album. Okay, I put out an album this year. Yes. Corey Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should listen to it. Absolutely listen to it after this conversation. Mm -hmm. And you understand maybe where I'm coming from more. In terms of, like, why I'm back, mm -hmm. for instance. The body of work, the album was like a therapy session. You know, the, the host was asking me questions and I was responding with songs. Oh. All through the album. So it's a story from the beginning to the end of it. Oh. So I have something to say. That's why I'm here. Mm. So I'm not here because I, I have to say something. Yes. Or because I have something, you have to, something say. to say. I have something okay. to share. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. From everything you've said, you've concentrated more on what you went through or what you've been through. If anybody has been, been following religiously, they mm -hmm. realize that everything you've said, you've talked about your pain, even without talking about your pain. My question here is, was it your personal decision to pull out from the world which you were leaving before or it was because of the fact that it was peer pressure or it was because of the fact that look every other person were already already doing it it's still peer pressure like they're already doing it and you felt like you were left out and you felt like okay what if i went through this part i'll be able to overtake them in front and get my essence back absolutely not i'm not in this for i was never in this for co competition you know i'm always preaching cooperation, you know, collaboration. Like I said, a tree <laughs> blossoming. Yeah. A lot of fruits. What was the last song you heard from Korea? The last one you did with John Jazz, you know. Okay. Normally, normally Before that. Yeah, there's another one. There's been Picasso, a lot of songs that you put out. Exactly. Picasso, Every yeah. year I put out music. Mm -hmm. Yes. And music do so well. It might not be a volume game, yeah. but I've been bearing fruits. <laughs> yes, you have been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back to the the season conversation. Mm -hmm. There was nothing the tree could do to really stop the season. You can't stop the hands of time. What was going to happen was going to happen, right? Um, the beauty about the tree analogy is that you be enough fruit to last the season. Yes. You know, so that when there's a season where, you know, for some reason, it's not conducive to your yeah. fruits. At least what you will be eating the fruit that you eat. That you has already been yeah, born. Exactly. Okay. Something that I feel like should absolutely be made clear is that my journey my journey has been orchestrated by god mm -hmm. and that's the only person only being that i depend on for my sustenance of anything okay not even my my craft and my art because mm -hmm. i promise you you can put out the best songs put out the best budget mm -hmm. and it still will not, will not be will not be yeah yeah you're correct you're absolutely okay correct. okay yeah. let's move away from that for now um, I think most of us are interested in knowing how you were able to maintain relationship with Mavens as a whole. I say this because of like you have a song right now that you've dropped Minding My Business that features on Jazzy. If we look back at it, most uh, talents leave a record label. There's always some sort of like disconnection, disconnection bad, bad vibes, bad this words. one, that one. <laughs> You know, we, we, yeah. we wouldn't know, maybe behind the scenes there was something and there's no longer something. But like, how were you able to at least, because if it was anything so grave, grave, mm -hmm. it would not, this collaboration will not be birthed. So how were you able to maintain such, you know, relationships up until date? Yeah, I think Jesus said something. He said, 
I don't know if it's Jesus said Jesus it. Jesus boy. <laughs> <laughs> so by their fruits, you know, know them. them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Minding my business is the fruits. Mm -hmm. And that's the fruit of the relationship. Yeah. It happened because we still have good synergy and we actually do link up time to time. Mm -hmm. go meeting, like, boss, we just discuss, play games sometimes and just talk about industry, talk about how we're progressing. Mm -hmm. That At the point we made uh, Minding My Business, it was because I was putting out an album mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, does it, I want us to do something um, like an Omolokwe and Jazzy collaboration again because mm -hmm. I think last year I noticed that a lot of people were using the sounds like I think but that song love me or don't me so that was a lie lie a song that I released maybe 2014 mm -hmm. but it was produced by Don Jazzy and I think Godwin I think one other song that we made together was trending so I just thought oh, me and okay. Don Jazzy make really make good, good music. music let's like give like one more oh, just for this okay, project so that's okay. what that was about okay you know? okay and that's where that, was, that came just in. came from yeah. and mm -hmm. this is a reflection of our realities and my reality mm -hmm. reminding my business like yeah. i said in the album i'm being asked questions and i'm and then you're responding to it so yeah that was a way oh, to answer some questions some okay. questions so i think i understand okay. so one of the reasons let me now try to say it now okay. to clarify for my mm -hmm. people i feel like one of the reasons why you have a better relationship with don jazz is because you've been minding your business we yeah. just we really want to get to know. like and understand know. what has been happening with you know curry there you know, i love the song that. no money no money they don't they see me for party. I think that's the reason why he said that he does not use a good to you know the if they know the color like, you know it's, it's my truth, yeah. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the same truth. On a lighter note, right? Yeah. Uh let's talk about music. On a lighter note, you look really beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Pascal, amazing. you didn't tell me I look good today, so I've it's okay. I've always told you that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't lie, don't lie. Probably, yeah. <laughs> On a lighter note, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about music, yeah. your time. Uh, okay. It's still your time of, of back in the days. Let me use the word back in the days and music of now. What would you cite as the major differences between music of back when you were singing Godwin and now? You. When you hear songs like Godwin, Mm -hmm. When you hear songs like Adobe, when you hear songs like Dora Gucci, when you hear songs like Catapult, mm -hmm. when you hear songs like Awe, they do more than just talk about the artist. True. Talking about situations, yeah. talking about story, mm -hmm. talking about people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's the major difference. Yeah. There are not a lot of songs that are talking about... What's happening. You know, what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's more individually inclined. And I think, well, that's the nature of hip hop, for instance. It's a spirit in hip hop that talks about it's I, I, I. It's what I have, it's what I want to do, it's what I get, this is how much I'm making, this mm -hmm. is who cannot cross me. This is, so that sipped into our culture a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we started to lose the essence, the whiteness of the whole African music. Yes. African music is like a manual. Yes. If you go down, like I'm saying, like, go back to. Even Fela, Sonia even, Dave, even Fela, 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 exactly. Go back to um, mm -hmm. Orlando or War, mm -hmm. come to African China, yeah. come to Idris Abu Karim, Daddy Shoki, yeah. come to Two Face. Yeah. They started to RMV. It's a lot. RMV a lot. <laughs> but come to. Um, who, 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 who can I call on? Rugged Man. Asha, Rugged Man. Mm -hmm. Asha. Um, yeah. You know they were still talking about how to live yes i think that's what it is when i started music i painted that picture and i saw it that it's literally how to live mm -hmm. you know it's the way this music goes like i'll be walking around for instance when i was before i became mega superstar i like to take walks so i walk around i hear barber shops playing music i hear people playing music in their houses on mm -hmm. sundays just walking by mm -hmm. and you're experiencing the spirit of the music that's around and many of it was how to live yeah you know how to live how to be how to deal with heartbreak mm -hmm. how to love how to learn yes. how to grow yes you know these are things that people are using to to, to, to it's survive. like daily bread yeah you know but we don't get in a lot of that now mm. the reason why godwin crossed you know caught across different demography and religion Continent. and yeah. age is because it's literally an expression of reality yes like i don't do this one this is oh, the great. person responsible for it yeah but this one this is the 
So a lot of people can sing it and, and connect with it as part of their story. Performing yes. yeah, exactly. You know, so we're not telling stories as much as what Anymore. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But another thing that's different is you notice that the younger the artist blows up, mm -hmm. when we started to have young artists blowing up, mm -hmm. the contest started to reduce, the quality of the music started to reduce. Ooh. Do you understand? Yeah. Because they were not having quality experiences. Yeah, because the experiences yes. ships are bursting, yes. Because uh -huh. they don't know how to live yet. Yeah. Remember I connected how to live yes, yes, with, yes, 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 with yes. that. So young people don't yet know how to live. Mm -hmm. They just know that they're living. Yes. And they want to live good. Yes. Yes. They want to live large. True. Guess what? That's what they're going to sing about. Yeah. Because so she only if you listen to an African China, where he's coming from, he has seen things. Yes, that's true. Timaya. I say they don't kill them, Mama. Yeah. You don't see things. Yeah, yeah see things. You're correct. You're correct. <laughs> they were Fella, always killing somebody. <laughs> hey, they don't thief 100 billion. <laughs> they <laughs> they see a lot of things. Demonstration <laughs> of craze. Yes. You know, these are expressions oh, of what reality. Of their exp yes. Yeah. Why I say is we should not blame these mm -hmm. people. If you can only give better, what you have. Thank you very much. That's yeah. why I said I, I had to connect with my why so that I mm -hmm. can give from a place of substance. Yes. Like if you listen to Minding My Business, it's a song, it's, mm -hmm. you can dance to it, but it's also substance. Yeah. Yes. You know, if you didn't pray, make a fail, I did pray for you. I'm choosing peace. Mm -hmm. for you. you know, I'm minding my business, <laughs> yes. I'm minding the business that pays me. A lot of people mm -hmm. yeah. can connect to that. I can still sing something that makes sense and make people dance. Yeah. Correct. It's not Absolutely mutually correct. exclusive, is yes. what I'm trying to say. Like, mm -hmm. I understand that we're trying to make money, trying to make people dance, but we can still mm -hmm. we try, can still and, put try some and put out content. substance and the stuff. The reason is because it. when I'm long gone mm -hmm. and my grandkids are here and it's like fourth generation, I don't want to put out anything that they cannot consume. It's not mm. safe for them to consume. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to look back and regret. How the, what was that? What was you thinking? Yeah, <laughs> you know, because it's codified in time and it's yes. it lives forever. Mm -hmm. So I create from the now. I create, and even then, I create from the place of like, is this safe enough for my grandkids to eat? Yeah, because it could be poison. True. Not every fruit is edible. Yes. A fruit we add and chop nine leaders to every day. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Give up. So some people can Who have the Eve? expression. <laughs> if I, if I, <laughs> if I some, give you some people can from have here. the expressions <laughs> or markers of success. Mm -hmm. oh, they success. can look like they're fruitful. Yes. But they might. They, the fruit might not be it, it edible. Might be edible. Exactly. Yeah. Very, very, very and I agree correct. with you. I Absolutely agree correct. with you. Very very correct. Very Let's quickly talk about your cologne business. Oh, yes. Ooh. The name of my album is Cory Day. Yes. And the reason for that is because this year is a leap year and I have a birthday this year. So Aww. I was born on a leap year. So uh. this year happens to be one of the special years that I get mm -hmm. to come my So officially, how old are you? Officially. officially if we're going by the leap year. Don't ask for age. For, if I'm going Seven, by the leap year. Eight years old. I'm a small boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna make merch mm -hmm. for the title of the album. Okay. And that's why I made the perfume. Okay. Also, if you watch the video, it's on the video as well mm -hmm. by Corey DeBell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think I also did one for my project last year, Beauty and Bliss, also a cologne. You know, it's part of my. I want people to smell good. When you smell mm -hmm. good, you feel good. You feel mm -hmm. good. You know, when you feel good, you can do good. Yeah. You connect. You, you can share when goodness. When you smell good, you feel good. Feel good. And when you, you feel when good, you feel good. You can, you can do, do good. good. You can do good. So it's part of sharing good news. Yeah. yeah. What about people that smell good and do bad? Efiniwa. You remember when you say efiniwa? You mm. say your character is really what you smell like. But mm -hmm. if your attitude is sh, mm -hmm. you're sh. Yeah. And we all know sh smell nice. Yeah, absolutely. The real meaning mm -hmm. is you know let your aura yes be good be good, be good. Yeah. when you're good you can share, share goodness, goodness. And you okay. feel good yeah okay so yeah people please patronize patronize uh, uh, this Curry day by Curry day Bello. all right <laughs> thank you so much for chatting with thank us you. we're thank gonna go on a quick break right now don't mm -hmm. go anywhere because when we return we will still have Curry day in the studio with us so stick around Welcome back, you're still watching Trending and we still have mega superstar Corey Day, Pastel and myself in the building. Absolutely. And we're about to play some more games. Are it's you ready? ready? Yeah, I like some games. Uh, we want to play the number game. The games that you play. 
Right, so we're going to be playing the number game. The number games. The, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exactly. Uh -huh. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this has, four, five, this has six, going to go. Seven, so I'm going to start ah, and it's going to go around. I don't know this typo. It's going to go around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Okay. What does the winner get? A cologne from Corée by Corée Bella. Exactly. Yay. <laughs> oh, yes. Exactly. Yay. <laughs> he wants to collect this thing from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's see. see. Yeah. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Eight. Six, eight. Seven, <laughs> seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. No, six, you're seven, supposed to say six, seven, eight. <laughs> you're supposed to say six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so no. Kim went out of rhythm one time. I just know how to talk. <laughs> Kim, you actually lost that one. But I'm like, let me just yeah, see, man. Why did you just say? Why, why did you not know, just say? I, I actually had to stop because I. There's nobody's going to lose at this point <laughs> if we just kept on going like that. Right, so, so you lost for our course. I dedicated my my winnings to, to her. To Thank you. And she has not won yet. One free colon. One free colon for me. For well, no, the game is not over the yet. The game now. is over because you know I'm going to lose. There's no point. So I you <laughs> There's no point in continuing. They want free cologne for King. Hey, hey, thank you. Be a gentleman. I'd send, mm, you send bottles it. for both Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so right. much. Uh, thank you so much for playing. Mm -hmm. We're going to go straight into the picture on video, video of, of the, the day. day. Wow. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I thought y'all go and play a video. I remember when I took this picture. When was oh. this? This is like 20, 2008 or 2009. Wow. Oh. I remember these glasses, yeah? Let me give you a story about these glasses. So you see this picture? Remember when the Coast album? Yes. Mm -hmm. I was trying to recreate that. Oh! I love the album hey. so much. Yeah. I, but I saw the glasses Mushi like... Mohit. What? Mushi to Mohit. Yeah, Mushi yeah. to Mohit. It had a blue glasses on. Yeah, I it saw had it. blue glasses on. I was on. walking by the market. I think maybe 100 naira, 200 naira. I can't remember how much I got Aww. these glasses for. That's how long I've seen them. Ah, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I saw the glasses like, ah, oh, that'll be nice. The pose, I think he, he, he stood this way as yes. well. Mm -hmm. if, there were, if you juxtapose um, Wendy's mm -hmm. picture, you see this is what I was trying to oh, recreate. Ah. I love the album, I love Wendy as well. Yeah, Wendy. Oh, that's nice. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Oh, um, uh, what's this one called? This section? It's called what? Picture or Video, video of, the of the Day. Why are you not having to from my Trovax? That's the yeah, point. That's, that's to know where you're coming from. To you know, to see how far you've you come. come. You won't laugh at me. Is that no, it's for no, gratitude. No, 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 no. Gratitude. It's for gratitude. For gratitude. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Most times people don't know how far they've come. Yeah. I mean, why? Is it true? It's not a joke. You're this thing. You're okay, yeah. thing. You have to yeah. understand. No, no, they watch me, but I understand. Oh it's okay. <laughs> Who are the people by your side? These are all me, you know. These are all you? Yeah. Wow. Who doesn't that look like me? That's I'm all me. Ah, ah. These are the different expressions of me. Wow. I used to like Tupac. Oh. A lot. Then the guitar was the Asha that I used to like. Oh. And oh. the guitar man as well. Oh. Okay. So these are different expressions that, wow. that I was going through. I was a hard oh. guy you know, on the street. Okay. Yeah. In Agboju. I remember I took this picture in Agboju. Agboju. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's different. lovely. So how does it feel like, you know, coming from the trenches back then to who you are today? Mega superstar, <sighs> Karede yes. Bello. Mm -hmm. It's actually a really good um, throwback. I remember who I was then and where I was at in my head. Mm -hmm. I always believe. I mean, we're already trying to mm -hmm. make one day. How can I recreate <laughs> the? I always believe, and I still believe. Yeah. I still believe that you know where I'm going is is still. It's massive. Yeah. Right now, if you take a picture of me right now, in maybe 20 years time, it'll still be a big throwback because I'll be in a very different place. Mm -hmm. Very good. What those pictures. Uh, telling me is just yeah. trust, God. trust God. Trust God. Trust God, guys. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. We had such an amazing time. We did, we did. We it did. was fantastic, very educative. Fantastic. 
I can see the depth and I hope the audience also have learned or taken something from this. We have come to the end of this episode. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. On Instagram, it's official Heap TV. On X and YouTube, it's at Heap TV. Also remember the channel 324 on DSTV and 22 on Go TV. And of course, trending airs at a 9 a.m. hour and at the 8 p.m. hour, the repeat version. My name is Pascal. My name is Kim Opera. And I'm yours truly, Mr. Romantic African Prince, a.k.a. Godwin, Corey Day. Bello. And from all of us, don't forget to keep it moving. Keep it moving.